the living quarters. <laughs> Emma Cariotis, her husband and their two kids could spend Christmas in this caravan in Tennant Creek. They were on their way to Adelaide from Darwin. We um, stopped in at Tennant Creek for a night. We got stuck in lockdown on the Friday. Got told we needed to do the testing um, to leave, to apply to leave. We got our testing done on Friday afternoon. That result still hasn't come back. We've been speaking with the CDC almost daily to try and chase up results, try and talk to the COVID hotline to find out where we can do to move on. And we, no one can tell us anything. The opposition leader received her booster shot today and says the delays in test results are a product of bad planning. They still haven't provided the resources that the Territory requires to be able to implement its own testing regime. This government is making up things as it goes along and isn't working through the practicalities or providing the resources our health system desperately needs. After previously denying delays, the Territory government has acknowledged there is a backlog. We don't think it's acceptable that the community should wait days and days for a test result uh, when then they've done their bit in getting tested. So we are working on that. While Tennant Creek has been quiet, police have been kept busy. Three men got past their checkpoint on Saturday to escape the lockdown. All three were found in Alice Springs, have returned a negative COVID test and were fined $5,000. The situation in the central Australian community of Ali Karung, also in lockdown, is looking more positive. They had 54 doses of the vaccine delivered through till about 5 o'clock last night, so that is fantastic. Uh, there's about 350, 400 people in Ali Karung. The decision on the lockdowns in Tennant Creek and Ali Karung will be made tomorrow, hours before restrictions are due to be lifted. Isaac Naruzi, ABC News.